For almost 20 years, pensioners across South Africa have been going to their local post office to collect pensions. In 1997, government started outsourcing pension payouts to private companies. The system is technologically advanced. It's meant to streamline payouts and eliminate corruption within the pension system. Despite this, re-registration for the new system has created a whole new set of problems. These problems were experienced firsthand by Vesta Smith, an activist in Noordgesig, a township near Johannesburg. It is with utter disgust and dismay that I write this letter. The date for old age pension payout was today, 6 February 2001. Upon arrival at the various pay points, we were informed that there was no money available. We will be receiving our pay payouts next week. Maybe if you are sitting high up in government or just any other job, you do not realize the total devastation caused by actions such as these. Let me attempt to describe it to you from a pensioner's point of view. The confusion created by re-registration and the consequent non-payment gave way to desperation in Vesta's neighborhood. Earlier this year, we attended one of the many meetings held by pensioners to discuss the problems. At the time of this meeting in Noordgesig, these old people had gone a whole month without being paid. People were hungry and angry. Who had us for all the years as it now forgeared us? Die zullen van mij ja, als al die man zal ons onze geld krijgen, alles krijgen. Nou, al rijdt van die 16e naar die 16e, nou, hoe lang moet ons honger krijgen? Ik voel, dat is niet recht om voor ons zo te treden. Ja. Ons is daarom niet net sommige dingen en goed te doen. Ons is ook mensen wat gevoelens zijn en wat ook problemen hebben. En ons is ook schuld om te betalen. Maar ik heb die geld. Ik heb een verbuurt. Ik ben bebeid van. <laughs> a 76 year old lady and I'm sick. I'm diabetic, high blood, I travel. Mm. All the time I struggle to get to town to go and be registered. I think this is just unfair. Yeah. And this government must try and consider Consider us all, we are all old and sick. They must treat us the same like any other person. Because we are all one person. We human and women and on mag start of the pension. On rent betal and on some lucht and water betal and on some postcoat and on some clear coat. And by a dag moet ons evers yum gan with the kerk. Waar moet ons geld krijgen? Want waar? ons het niet geld in die bank. Mm -hmm. Where must I get money to go to town? I must go and borrow now to go to town. I must borrow to live until that time when they decide to give us pension. This government is, is so much cut. Right. 83-year-old Letty Jacobs lives in this three-roomed house in Noordgesig along with her caregivers Elizabeth and Ronnie Jacobs and seven children. Elizabeth and Ronnie have cared for Letty for the past 18 years. Letty is blind and has a nervous condition and can hardly walk. For the past 10 years, Elizabeth has had no problem drawing Letty's pension using her own ID. But in January this year, all that changed when, as usual, she went to the post office to collect Letty's pension. I'm sell for me. I come to na eight one six strato. I come to go to na eight one six strato to fill me a form. To go there, come to sell for me here. I come to na the button desk to go. I just sell there. Na button desk to go. I come to the next day. I come to go home fast and try to make. I come to car to carry. What me soon to go near me to me ta. And I take. I didn't know When we met the Jacobs, Letty hadn't received a pension for three months. 
Ronnie had been retrenched almost a year ago, and the only source of income was the 350 rand Elizabeth makes as a day mother, and small amounts borrowed from friends and family. No, 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 bro, three, Drink, no, drink, no, drink, no. No? I could see in a bad summer, Hell Kalyan at no mutek and lean. Fate the Hran Kalyan be my bruce doctor. I was afraid of and the technostic flesh have pop for Dina Vic. Any mana Eximusi work and to Rupert Fasala to Liana Kader Tahran. I take no via two comma five millimil, two comma five flower, two comma five sacre hapo, and that that one's dear Hatra. When we arrived for this interview, we realized there was literally not a scrap of food in the Jacob's house. Even the tea bag for Letty's morning tea had been borrowed from a neighbor. The only food for breakfast that morning was the groceries we'd bought. Supper, another story altogether. And blaswa. Okay, pastan di ba di mensa no one and skelem us. Yedi urla mensa sa pension. Ma ba atang galam at eight kom self eight kom kom kek live ra mensa no. As di varit. That different track I pension dear, even what live. But I think I'll say I'm a skeleton. Rare. Letty needs a new ID document to be able to register. When she finally receives it, this frail, blind old woman will have to make the trip to the social welfare office in Johannesburg. Here, fingerprints will be taken and her identity verified. While the bureaucratic wheels slowly turn, the ten people living in this house will have to make do as best they can. The Noordgesig pensioners are not the only ones experiencing problems with the new system. On the other side of town in the leafy suburb of Greenside, 79-year-old Anastasia Orthodoxius has also had her pension suspended after receiving it problem-free for 18 years. Since January, her daughter Sophia has been trying to get Anastasia re-registered. Their ordeal started when Sophia happened to see one of the ads placed by APSA Bank, the new private contractor in the Sunday newspapers. Well, uh, apparently the pay points changed uh, from January this year, 2001. Uh, the first I was aware of it was in December, I think it was, when I saw an ad uh, in the newspaper from APSA saying that uh, new pay points would, would be moving, uh, I think it's mostly to the recreational centres. And I phoned them and um, they said all we had to do was basically go to Roosevelt Park Recreation Centre um, with my mother. They would register her there and she would get a pension. When they got to the pay point, she was told her mother was not on the system. She'd have to re-register. According to officials, this process is simple. All you do is go to the department to get fingerprinted. But for Sophia and Anastasia, it wasn't this easy. On the 15th of January, I started. I actually went there with my mother and uh, her ID book and pension card because, you know, that's what the guys from EPSA said, you know, that's all we'd need and just take her fingerprints and they would reinstate. But Over the past four months, Sophia and Anastasia have returned to the social welfare department three times and each time they were sent away empty-handed. I needed to get my father's death certificate. It was re reapplying all over again. My father's death certificate and affidavit took me a while. I think we went back um, uh, close to middle of February or so. Um, and then it was, I had to get the three months bank statements, which I hadn't got in the first place because I wasn't advised, and the bank form signed by the bank. Uh, I mean, I had to beg for some kind of guideline of what I needed to bring. And there was still nothing, there's still never been a printed anything given to me saying this is what we need. And every time there was a block with papers and they wouldn't even take the fingerprints. So it's been like that ever since with the paperwork and missing paperwork. And Back in Noordgesig, Vesta Smith puts all this confusion and heartache down to a lack of communication from the department. This was done without any consideration for us. No one considered it important to inform us 
This situation is totally and utterly deplorable. It is totally unacceptable that this can happen with no one being held responsible or accountable. But Social Welfare says they launched a major media campaign to inform pensioners, a campaign that seems to have missed the mark in at least some cases. Uh, the campaign itself was carried out by the department. Uh, we made advertisement in national uh, newspapers uh, and also we targeted some of the indigenous language uh, radio station and other things. Telling me that it was out in public with the new, the new process of pensions, but she couldn't tell me uh, why we were not advised. Except for December month, had it no had the last hell can track for us, the pension can track. That was not the same. That is highly possible, uh, but unfortunately, when the contract was terminated, it was difficult for us to get access to post office. I mean, even at Brissick Street, where she used to collect pension, you know, they weren't informed that this is what you have to do. That's one of our basic standard things that we have to do to send letters to people that have to benefit from our resources. No, I've never seen a letter like that. Five months down the line, Letty and Anastasia have endured financial hardships, long queues, frustration and endless bureaucratic wrangling. All because they've not been registered for the new pension system. They've followed every rule, spent hours gathering the right documents, travelled back and forth to government offices, and still have nothing to show for their efforts. Special assignment took both Anastasia and Letty back to the department one last time. According to pensioners who've been through the registration process, it can take hours just to get fingerprinted. Today, with our film crew there, it takes Sophia and Anastasia less than an hour. And it seems all the paperwork gathered over the past few months was a complete waste of time. So what I've is given this you, I don't know, because we were told we had to reapply from the start as if it's going to be a new page. Is that so? Yeah. Okay, no problem. But now I've given you whatever I could think of that you need. Okay. Yeah. No, it's okay. She was quite uh, taken aback that I had much to give her, because as far as I could see, all she really needed was the bank statement and the bank form. Done certifieds of everything and the affidavit, and she used it all. Now that Anastasia's fingerprints have been finally taken and her identity verified, it'll take approximately three months for her to be reinstated. In the meantime, all they can do is wait and hope. Just wanted reinstated at the moment. Uh, you know, even if they do pay the three months, it's, it's better than nothing. You know. 
Meanwhile, Mr. Ramu Khale, the deputy director of social security, spots Letty in the queue, shadowed by our camera crew. They are whisked into the supervisor's office. Despite the queue and the client already in the office, they are attended to immediately. He's extremely helpful. For Letty and Elizabeth, this is a welcome change. On their last visit, they sat in a queue until 2 o'clock in the afternoon, only to be told their problem couldn't be solved, as Letty's identity had been duplicated. Today, Letty and Elizabeth wait while the supervisor leads with Letty's new ID. This time, he can't even find Letty's ID number on the computer system. Which one? This, this is my ID. I used to draw with this all this time. So January, when I go there, they say, no, I must make her a new ID. So I went and make a new ID for her. And they say, when I come with the ID, I must come. So the, the ID came on the 18th. I didn't come on the 18th, I came on the Monday. When I come on the Monday, they put fingerprints, everything here, fingerprints, and they let me sign forms. And they say they'll let me know. I'm still waiting what they'll send me, and they okay. never did. So I should. I used to go and draw my money with my ID. Yes, then I signed. She never had an ID there. That's her first ID date. When the supervisor returns to the information desk, he's joined by a senior official. Nobody can figure out why Letty's ID number can't be found. But while all this is going on, something remarkable happens. In the office where Letty and Elizabeth are waiting, the deputy director of social security has decided to issue a 200 rand food voucher to the family. So she's going to get a grocery for her, for her up, up, up to, she has a choice to buy up, up to 200 rand. That's just a relief while we're sorting out the document. For the Jacobs family, this is an unexpectedly happy ending to a frustrating experience. Every day I go to the house and talk to the camera men. I go to the house and talk to the camera men. I go to the house and talk to the camera men. I say, I'm going to give you a lot of money. I'm going to give you a lot of money for the house and for the house. For the house and for the house. In a remarkable show of compassion by the department, Elizabeth and Letty are taken shopping by senior officials. driven home in style by the deputy director himself. Ek voel rarig vir lach. Ek voel rarig vir lach. Het hy eister wat hy op my skouwer gewees het, het lyk of het af, as af, 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 af. Ek voel rarig vir lach, want nou weet ek ek in elke vijf minute wanneer sê tje so ken ek vir haar maak. Want daar het na elke keer het my sak, het gekom, jy weet moet ek jou altyd gaan sê. Ek moet hier my broerse dochter sê, hoor jy so, dan sê sê, ok, ek het een feste gerankje, want ek wil hee, sê my sê, sê ene wat een goeie appetit het. Ek wil hee, ek kan maar liewe sir gaan sonder het, maar so lang as jy ga eet en ga drink het, ek is gezond, ek het kracht. Hulle het gesê, hulle het nie gepraat daarvan, haar nommer is nog nie dier. So, so, ek so net so teruggekom het. Wee met haar. Ek so net so teruggekom en so na niks. Ek denk as hier die camera, die camera mense wat hulle nou die dit gedoen het, wat hulle sien, hier kom die mense van die camera net. En ou nou hier is daar so en hulle het ons gesien, ek denk as die hier dit. 
Letty Jacobs is now receiving her pension. Many others are not that lucky. What is it about change and democracy that causes ordinary people to suffer in this way? A society which cannot look after its aged will be unable to look after much else. Someone needs to take responsibility. Someone needs to apologize. And more importantly, someone must ensure that this never happens again. Vesta Smith, pensioner, Nautusa. No